Why are you so thirsty? Ron, mm -hmm. tell us what's on the agenda for today before you get up on the, what is this, the proper name for this? Scaffold. Okay, so I've been saying it right. Scaffold. Scaffold, that's yes. what I've been saying. Okay, so what's the plan for today's supervisor? Today, I'm thinking we'll finish the crime over and okay. we'll start the base mode. And um, and we might be able to start painting up here. Paint the, what? The, the crown. The crown. So you're gonna paint the crown before you paint the wall. Yeah. Okay. Paint the crown before you paint the wall because we ain't gotta be careful because then we gotta cut in, cut in, in you know, Okay. Uh, it's gonna be sloppy up here. Um, I'm thinking. Is that good? Good thing. What was you thinking? I'm, hey, I'm following your lead on, on this project. Oh, no, <laughs> this is your project. Well, okay. This is your worker. Oh, <laughs> you my worker. Yeah. <laughs> Says the man who I was late two days in a row. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Rob's gonna write you me up. To He's gonna write me up because I was two days late in a row. I was actually late today, but he wasn't. He didn't know that. So we said I was on time. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna get rolled up. Ron, right, don't write me up, please. So three strikes you out. Let me show y'all the crown molding in here because I didn't show y'all the last time. Okay. This is right. Well, wait a minute. I'm, not, I'm looking in the wrong place now. No, I'm not. You see this brown piece here? Right right there. Okay, right there is the crown molding. And it goes all the way around like that over there and then if you come back this way it stops bam here so that's what he's gonna do the trim work to make it look thicker in just this area right here and I knew he was gonna want to do the baseboards I knew he was I told you guys that he ain't gonna be able to help himself. So baseboards, and he said may even begin to paint the crown molding before the actual paint go on the wall. I personally have slept all day, so this is not a proper intro. So let me start over. Let me let me go out of frame and start over. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Another episode of House to Home. Okay, is that better? Okay, I'm trying to be professional. And he is measuring. This is very important because some of you guys did let me know in the last video that you two and your significant others are working on projects in your home for the summer and stuff. So, he's measuring. 90 and a quarter. And then he'll go make him cut after he measure. And Remy, as you can see, is in it all. He's part of it all. He's a part of it. Remy, come here. Sit. Sit. No, sit. Sit down. Listen, sit. Sit like a big boy. There you go. Now look, Remy, you have to make a special appearance when you come over here on my channel. You see this? Look. Look at this. Is this intimidating you? What's with the side eye, bro? Bro, it ain't even that serious. Remy, look at the camera. No? You know you want, oh, hey, you, ooh, don't look at my family like that. Don't look at them like that, Remy. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do, you don't get him the side eye. <laughs> he gave y'all the side eye. He gave y'all the real side eye, like, and what? Okay. Okay, so, okay, look, over here, this is where we're going to redo the floor at. You can't really see it, but. Over there. Floor stops here. Right 
here. And then all of this is what's going to match this. You can see my foot right here. And then that'll be done. So it'll be one long. And Ron has decided that he's going to build out the fireplace for me so that it'll be as big as, as wide as my TV at home because that's where I want to hang my TV. He's against, he don't like hanging TVs above fireplaces. Like he think that is the worst, okay? But he's willing to hang it up for me up there. But I need for it to be, you can't really see it because we everything that was in there we pushed over here out of the way. And then, you know, uh, just because. Baby, did you do that on the floor, buddy? It looks like something you did. I do believe you did this. You did it, did you? That's why you're looking like that. That's why you're looking like you did it. You look good. You look real good. Real guilty, boy. Really, I'm supervised because if there's nothing I can do up there, he has this on lock. I'm just here for the ride. But once he gets started, I will um, bring y'all back once he get up there and get going. I'll sit you this way so that you can kind of see what he is actually doing. And I don't know if I can make this brighter for you guys. That's a little bit better. Is it better, family? Okay. So he'll get up there and he'll do that part. And then the part above me, and then I'll show you that way down there as well. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Because without you by my side, I would be stuck here on the ground. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me. I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly Take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day and I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me No one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do As I stated in the last video I knew this man was going to Remy, get out of the way Was going to lift these Or add to The base boards To make them higher Like we did in here 
So, this is the regular baseboard right here. And he's going to come up. I'm not sure how far he's going to come up. But he'll add to it. And then it'll go all the way around and down. Not only do he want to do just this part, which is what I thought we were doing, this part here, right? He actually wants to do all of it. The entire thing that we did up above, he wants to do it down below as well. So not only up top, thick, is it blurry? I'm sorry. It's blurry focus but he wants to do it all the way around i don't know how because of the window goes to the bottom as you can see probably will run into the same problem that we had at the top and then he wants it he wants the thick all the way around <sighs> <laughs> more work <laughs> more work he's already got the piece cut as his spacer so let's see how this turns out I like that okay yeah how many inches is that six and a quarter from the bottom of the actual not the molding but the bottom of the baseboard well, well, I'm just, well, okay, so that's not, that's actually exactly six. Six on the head? Yeah. And that's, if we carry that around, that'll go. What about under that window? That's that's what I measured it for. So it'll be right up against the window, like the top? Uh-huh. Okay. No, are you sure you this? Well, let's put it on. Let's I on. said that you were gonna do this. I knew you were. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I suppose the uh, that. Probably so. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, you can't see it when you're standing up like this. That's gonna stay just like that. You can't see it. That's gonna stay like that. Maybe you're gonna do the whole thing, all just not this hallway. A whole row. Oh my god. That's too dope. So when you round this corner. Oh, you know what? That's wrong. They're not supposed to be like this. That's the wrong detail. This actually needs to go down. On the bottom? Yeah. Why though? Why? Why? Because. Because what? This goes on the bottom. And the. I like it like that because look. No. No. Nah. So it'll be upside down? This is upside down now. No, I'm saying you're going to turn it upside down so then this fat part will be down here on this bevel part? Yeah, because then it'll have a nice little... It, it, it'll it be like this. But then it this deep... Yeah, trust me. Yep. <laughs> so it. this is upside down, he's saying. He don't like the fat part that you can see here up top he wants to flip this upside down i don't know i like it like this but okay we're gonna see we'll see okay so he flipped it upside down it's right side up now well right side up right so the difference is the fatter piece is at the bottom and the skinner piece is at the top he felt like the bottom piece would be a dust catcher so this is what it looks like. And then it'll be painted white in here so it'll all look like one piece. Now it's six inches, a six inch baseboard without buying a six, six inch baseboard. So this is what it looks like here. Imagine the paint gone. 
And now he wants to do the entire thing. Yeah, that's gonna be real nice. Yeah. Nice yeah. and thick. Look at the difference between the original and how high the new part stops. That's a lot. That's substantial. Very substantial. And if you raise it up higher, it'll even be more. But then it's still mess up. But you can't because you're going on, you gotta come around that corner. Mm -hmm. This gives us the six inch base though. And this is what you was talking about anyway with the pitch I sent you. Right. You but they had that? more than one though, right? They mm -hmm. had more than this one strip. Is candy tin. This is that one get my phone. I feel like theirs had more than something. I don't know. Huh? It there's a different. But no, it you putting in all your hopes and efforts are all in vain who will pick you up when you've lost everything does it all become for granted with a wedding intermission Ron is at work today okay and I am painting all of what we added well he we that he added to create that thicker crown molding look so my job today is to paint all of it so I've done the dining room area I've done, I'm working on this area, and when he gets off work, um, I think I shared in the last clip that all the baseboards that you see, he loves this look so much so that he is head over heels now for the six inch baseboard, and we're gonna cheat again, as opposed to taking up all of this baseboard and wasting money, right? To add to, like we did up top, we're gonna do the same thing. I think I showed you guys that as well in the last clip. So that's his project for today. When he gets off work, he's gonna be doing the same thing on the bottom, um, which also will mean that it will need to be painted bright white. Now, the reason we're doing it this way, in case you were working on a project or whatever, um, Painting, making, you know, all, all, um, what do you call it? All crown moldings, baseboards, high gloss. You want to be able to wipe them off. You want to be able to clean them. We're starting at the top, getting all this done. It's going to literally take me four coats. So I'm going to have to go around this entire thing four times, okay, to get it bright, white, even, all of that. Same with the bottom whenever he gets done with the bottom. Once all of that is done, all the spackling that you've seen him do, like where the white is and stuff, he's going to put another coat of the spackle stuff on it again, let it dry. Then he's going to sand it down so that it will be nice and smooth, no lumps, no bumps, all that jazz. 
then the painting part can start and we won't have to worry about going up top painting paint dripping down because i have drippings on the wall now which doesn't matter because it's going to get painted anyway so that's why i'm up at the top painting it getting a, a smooth white complete finish um on the top right all the way around again the same thing is going to happen at the bottom so start at the top get it bright white or whatever color you choose then you work on your wall so you don't have to worry about dripping from the top part and then just paint it down. So today I'm actually, I don't know, I mean, I, four coats, girl, yeah, four coats. I'm, I'm almost at the end here, right? I'm almost at the, well, you can't see it, I'm sorry. That's where it stops at over here for this part, right? So what I'm going to do, because I started in the, um, kitchen area i'm gonna go back in there because i know that's dry i'm gonna put another coat on that by the time i get done with that i can come back in here in the dining room area let me show it to you so far so i'm talking about it so as you can see i've done this i think this is two coats so far so two more coats of that um Two more coats all the way around. I did that, right? And then in the that area. So when I get over here, like I said, I'm gonna stop, move over to where I was in there, hit that again, back in here, hit that again. And um, by the time I get done with that, this will be ready for some rounds and then and then too if i if i finish in time because it, it's kind of a lot but everything that's white in here like like you can, can you see the like the columns here the top part of the columns the trim work around well we're not gonna worry about that because he's gonna fat that out but like the top part up top columns this that side columns this i'm going to paint all that white all the casings around the windows window seals i'm going to be painting all of that as well on the inside to give it that bright white um look and the casings all around you probably can't tell on camera but you know and that's super freaking dark so i'm sorry can I lighten you up or no? You can't tell on camera the lighting is throwing it off. Um, but the casings, even with the crown molding, even with the crown molding, before I started actually painting, the crown molding was like a like a creamy color. It wasn't white white. And so once I hit the, with the white, I was like, oh my god, what a difference. Same thing for the casings. They look white, but when you put an extra, you know, white, bright white paint on there, it makes it pop. It's just going to make it boop, pop out, pop out. Door frames, everything white got to be whiter, basically, is what I'm saying. So, I'm not going to let y'all, um, I'm not going to torture y'all with me doing all that paint and whatnot, but that's what your girls are doing on break. And, uh, yeah, so we're moving right along. Um, he's gonna, I think he's also going to take pictures of like th it's this couch. There's an identical couch to this exact one in the, uh, family room area back there. This table's going to, everything that was in here is going to go. Okay. Everything's got to go. It's got to get out of here. Okay. So. He's going to list this, I guess, on like offer up or whatever, because nothing is wrong. I mean, it's good leather. No rips, no tears, no nothing. You know? Somebody's going to be glad to get that. And then there's a mate to go to it. That big freaking table right there that somebody could DIY and turn it into something. All that stuff has got to go. I'm so freaking tired right now. But anyway, I will come back and... Um, no way. Okay, I'm going to chop that down. I'm going to come back and, uh, 
or, or maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. But I'll see you guys in the next clip, okay?